Hi there, it's Nicole McGuirk from Mama Elephant and today I have a designer series card to share with you featuring the brand new On Point Borders stamp set. You can see one of those border stamps used there in the background of this card and I'm going to show you how I created, created that rainbow effect background behind the vellum stamped and then the greeting on vellum in front of it. So the first thing I did was die cut a piece of smooth white cardstock using the Mama Elephant Fem Frames die. I really wanted that stitched border detail there. Then I'm just using some post-it tape to tape my frame to my craft mat. I wanted to keep that little bit of a white border around the edge, so I'm just masking that off. Then I'm going to use this border stamp here from the On Point Borders, and I'm going to ink it up first with some Orange Aid Mama Elephant ink, and I apologize, I needed to get that first one lined up so I got my head in the way, so you might not be able to see me stamp that very good. And then I'm just going to start in one corner and work my way across the piece of paper to the other corner. So what I'm going to do is clean my stamp in between each inking and stamping, and I'm just going to keep lining that up and inking it all the way across. And I really wanted mine to have a rainbow effect, so I am using the Mama Elephant Orange Aid Sunshine Mojito Ocean and Apple inks. And I just love how easy it is to create your own custom backgrounds using the border stamps. There are just so many great ways to use border stamps. And so they're just a really great staple to have in your stamping arsenal there of things. Thing, great, there's just great ways to use them. And this is just one. Now this is going to be pretty bright. And I didn't want it to overpower my greeting. I just really wanted this to be more of the background of the card. I wanted, I wanted to create my own custom background to perfectly match what I was wanting to create. So it worked great for that. However, when I went to stamp my greeting, I thought it was going to be too bright. And one of my favorite ways to get around that is to layer a piece of vellum over the top. So I cut my vellum using the scallop frame from the Fem Frames die. And I'm going to just rub over that with a anti-cling powder bag so that when I stamp my greeting with Versamark ink, and then emboss it with some black glitter embossing powder, the embossing powder will only stick to the part that I have stamped with Versamark. So I'm just going to get that lined up, press that good right there, and I'm going to sprinkle it with some black powder, and then I will heat set that. The greeting is from another brand new stamp set from Mama Elephant called Make-A-Wish, and it has some really great birthday-themed greetings, all in a really pretty scripty font. So I heat set that with some black glitter embossing powder, and then I am going to go ahead and stamp the stars from the Make-A-Wish stamp set kind of around my greeting, also using Versamark ink, and then I'm going to heat emboss those with some bright colors of embossing powder to kind of match the, the background I created with the On Point Borders stamp set. So I'm just using some American Crafts embossing powder here. And I did use that trio of three stars from Make-A-Wish, and I realized that that was going to be kind of hard to get my stars in different colors of embossing powder. So I was kind of just using a scrap piece of paper there to mask off, if you will, or keep the embossing powder from touching those other embossed stars, but or stamped stars, rather. From here on out, though, I'm just going to use those single star stamps that you can see there on the right side of the screen because it will make it much easier. So after I did this, I realized it was really going to be difficult. <laughs> because right there I got the blue embossing powder on two of the stars and it was kind of a mess to get it off. I just had to use a paintbrush to kind of gently move the embossing powder off of one of those stars. 
So I am just going to continue to add some stars here and embossing powder. I'm just going to speed through it to save a little bit of time because it's simply just stamping with Versamark ink, adding the embossing powder, and I'm doing them one at a time here so that I can heat the rest of them all at once. I don't want to heat, keep reheating it. I don't want to run the risk of ruining what I've already embossed. Now run over and heat set that real quick and then I should be finished with this. Thought I would add just a couple more of those little teeny tiny stars. I love that little teeny tiny star from Make a Wish. I love the size of it. So there they are all finished. Now I, the trick with vellum is always being able to hide your adhesive and I like to use the Zig glue pen and I am hiding it behind those embossed stamped images. So I'm going to just place little dots of glue there and also going to place a few little dots on my background piece in the corners and then I'll line up the vellum and adhere that right over the top of my stamped background and I love how it it mutes the background just enough but it still gives such a fun bright feel to the card one thing I do like to do is to place my acrylic blocks on top of anything when I've used liquid adhesive like the vellum because I don't want it to curl up and it kind of helps keep everything flat just while the adhesive dries. The final thing I'm going to do is just take a white pin and trace over those stitching lines on the femme frames on top of on the vellum piece that's on top there just to give a little bit more of more definition to that stitched design. Then I'll just add some foam adhesive behind this and place it on a white card base and this simple card is finished. Thanks for joining me for this Mama Elephant Designer Series card project. All of the supplies I use to create this card are linked below the video in the comment section on YouTube. For more information please visit my blog or the Mama Elephant blog. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.